In a quiet corner of Hampshire, England, there lived a young man named Dan, whose love for his pet python, Tiny, took an unexpected and tragic turn. Dan was not your typical pet owner. He was a herpetologist, deeply passionate about reptiles. He had turned his bedroom into a sanctuary for his beloved pets, which included 10 snakes and 12 tarantulas. These creatures were more than mere showpieces. They were the source of his fascination and joy. Dan's journey into herpetology began at the age of 10, inspired by captivating documentaries. By the age of 15, he welcomed his first snake into his life. However, it was Tiny, a formidable eight-foot African rock python who held a special place in his heart. This non-venomous behemoth was a giant among snakes, capable of growing even larger. Despite her size, she was Dan's baby, and he treated her with all the love and care a devoted owner could provide. As Tiny grew, Dan couldn't help but notice her increasing strength. He had to change the way he handled her, for she was no longer a small snake that could be casually draped around his neck. Although Tiny didn't exhibit aggression, she would sometimes wrap herself around Dan, seeking warmth and comfort. However, Dan knew the potential danger of her increasingly powerful embrace. One fateful evening in August 2017, Dan returned home from work, planning to change clothes as usual. But something went terribly wrong. As he handled Tiny in his bedroom, disaster struck. Tiny, sensing potential danger, coiled her muscular body around Dan. In a matter of seconds, he began to feel faint and passed out. The world went dark, and Dan slumped to the floor. Startled by his fall, Tiny released her grip and retreated to a corner of the room. When Dan's father discovered the scene, he found his son unresponsive on the floor and Tiny missing from her tank. Panic ensued as they called for emergency services, but despite their valiant efforts, Dan could not be saved. The cause of Dan's tragic death was attributed to asphyxiation by the snake, though the lack of telltale marks left the circumstances shrouded in mystery. Snake expert Professor Scott Boback proposed a different perspective suggesting that constrictors like Tiny often led to cardiac arrest rather than asphyxiation. The eight-foot python could restrict blood flow to the brain, causing unconsciousness and triggering cardiac arrest due to a lack of oxygen. The investigation deepened with the involvement of another snake expert and veterinarian, John Cooper. The absence of marks on Dan's body raised questions about the nature of the snake's involvement. As they gently returned Tiny to her tank, she struck out defensively, leading to further speculation about her role in Dan's demise. The prevailing theory was that Tiny might have been displaying a unique form of affection, unusual for reptiles. Pythons, though not known for conventional expressions of love, can develop bonds with their handlers. This bond, however, can sometimes lead to unpredictable behavior. It was possible that Tiny, momentarily feeling insecure, hugged Dan tightly, unaware of the consequences. In the end, Despite the mystery surrounding the incident, Dan's parents made the difficult decision to rehome Tiny. Her new home was at the National Center for Reptile Welfare at Hadlow College in Tunbridge, Kent. The chilling secrets of that fateful evening in Dan's bedroom remain known only to Tiny, leaving a shadow of mystery over the tragic twist of a snake's affectionate embrace.